Johnny Gibson, the voice of the World of Outlaws, NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series, and you're watching Out of the Fast Lane. We're here with EJ Gallup at the VFR Mall Show, and EJ, it's your second year in Limited Sportsman. You got some wins last year, your first season. You came from the basketball court to a race car. Yeah. First off, how was 2022, and then are you getting ready to go, are you ready to go for 2023? Yeah, it was great. Uh, obviously, first year, I didn't know what the heck was going on, what I was doing. Um, I have a good teacher in Rocky and Tanner and stuff like that, so they, you know, they got me up to up to speed pretty quick. Um, so definitely, you know, we got a couple wins, and uh, I, I think we exceeded expectations a bunch. So um, I might start off in limiteds, maybe the first week or second week, and then move up. After that, I just want to get used to getting back in it and figuring out how to drive it again, mm -hmm. and then uh, probably move back up for the rest of the year. I think. So your first year racing race cars last year full time, how was it? It was overall? awesome, man. I mean. You know, obviously never raced anything. I've never been in any kind of races or go-karts or anything like that. Um, it was it was tough the first couple of weeks just getting used to the speed and how everything, you know, was moving so fast and all the action. And then after that, kind of slows down a little bit and get used to it. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Met a lot of new people and new friends and stuff like that. So a lot of fun. Now getting to learn the ropes of being a race car driver, what did you pick up last year? What did you learn? Um, I don't know. I mean... For me, just learning how to work on the car a little bit, just like help out as much as I can. Obviously, not not knowing much about that is big. Just doing my own maintenance and stuff like that. I'm trying to learn more stuff like that. Um, and then just on the racetrack, I guess um, when you don't finish well, it's the setup, and when you do finish well, it's the driver. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Um, it, it's fun, man. It's just a lot of fun. I don't take it too serious. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to make a living doing it or anything like that. It's just a hobby for me and. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun last summer. Mm -hmm. Now, you do a lot of stuff with the basket in the basketball world. You've yeah. coached Floyd Mayweather's team. Yeah. You've done a lot of stuff on ESPN. You're the coach at the FMCC College for the boys and girls team. Yeah. Had a good season there. How was it? Yeah, ba I mean, basketball is obviously my life after, you know, playing uh, uh, in college and professionally. And I got into coaching a couple of years ago. So it's uh, it's it's been uh, – I've only been coaching now for two, three years. I've had a lot of great opportunities, and I'm just going to keep uh, – you know, keep building my career, keep building my college career. Obviously, FM, we had a great season this year, and we're looking forward to another good season with Floyd's team in, uh, on ESPN this summer. So, you know, that's my life. I mean, this is my hobby, and I lo love to do this with my buddies, but basketball is my life, so I uh, take it very seriously. So just uh, continuing to build on that. Now, where are you going to be racing in 2023? Um, I'm definitely going to do uh, Utica on Fridays, um, mostly there. I learned there, and I, my driving style, I think, kind of fits there. And then I help Rocky and Tanner at Fonda, so it's hard to turn around one car on Friday for Saturday. So most of the time, just just Utica on Fridays, maybe a couple um, Saturdays at Fonda, and I want to do the Brookfield on Sunday when they have those. Um, and then we'll do end of the year some travel and stuff again, probably with Tanner and myself maybe a little bit. So um, yeah, just you know, I'll be at, I'll be at Utica and I'll be at helping at Fonda. Now you're dedicating this year to a special friend of yours. Yeah, I'm sure, it means a lot to you getting the race in yeah. honor of him. Yeah, for sure. We're doing a lot of special stuff with my buddy Todd. Uh, we're raising money for his son, but I think it's more important. Um, he's, got a, he's got a young son, so we're excited about that. Uh, we're going to keep his memory alive, and I know he's going to be right with me in the car, and uh, we're going to keep keep uh, keep his name alive and keep uh, you know raising money for his son. Absolutely. EJ Gallup gets ready to go for 2023 here at the Viaport Mall.